Hi, I'm Sean Welby. Thank you to Sophie Housden for tweeting in a lovely bit of blossom. Keep on tweeting those pictures in to me. This week, I'm after your top British wildlife photos for the Channel 5 website. Tweet them into at 5 underscore news and the top five will be up by the end of the week. So this evening, if you are heading out, you'll certainly want an umbrella. Lots of showers scattered around. Some will be heavy, some will be thundery. And in the north, they're looking to be very blustery. And as the winds pick up this evening, we could be looking at gusts exceeding 60 miles an hour in exposed parts of Western Scotland. Now through the night, Northern Ireland and Scotland will hold on to those showers. There will be further thunderstorms. And then by the morning, we'll have clearer spells for the rest of the UK, therefore a rather chilly start. It could be quite soggy first thing, however, for the southwest of England, and during the course of the morning, this rain will become more widespread as it heads towards the Midlands and central southern England. So let's have a closer look. At lunchtime, it looks as though Northern Ireland will be quite soggy at times. A little bit of brightness in the north. Temperatures 8 to 10 degrees, disappointingly low for the time of year. Across Wales, many temperatures will be staying in single digits. Lots of cloud and lots of rain in the southwest. Some heavy downpours and this rain becoming more widespread as we head through the afternoon. Top temperatures look to be over East Anglia and perhaps the Midlands until that cloud and rain catches up. A bit of brightness across some northeastern parts of England, but staying quite cool and cold in parts of Scotland and rather cloudy. Northern areas, though, looking to see the best of any brightness. And then as we head through the night, we gain two areas of low pressure, as if one wasn't already enough. And this will make for quite an unsettled day on Wednesday. It will be a rather chilly start to the day. And then during the course of the morning, we'll see long spells of rain for Northern Ireland, Scotland and Northern England. And then elsewhere, some blustery scattered showers. And again, some of these could be heavy and some could be thundery. It looks as though the southeast quarter of Britain has the best chance of getting any brighter weather. And later on in the afternoon, we could see highs of around 15 or even 16 degrees.